Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. You know the drill. Go right ahead and raise your hand if you have a question for Coach T. Jen. Hey, Coach. Uh, first off, any updates for us on Elena Weekin? No, I, you know, I don't know uh, when she's ever going to practice yet. I just don't know. Um, I know she gave a timetable of the first game um, to play. I, I couldn't tell you if that's accurate or not right now. And I hate to, I'm not trying to be evasive until she does enough days with us as a full group thing, but she hasn't, she hasn't participated in any group uh, drills or anything. So at this point, um, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, assume that she's going to play at the start. We'll see. Gotcha. And then also just wanted to ask about Tina. Can you talk a little bit about the role that you envision her playing for this team, both with Elena and, and without Elena? Well, I think it's the same role she's played her whole career. I mean, she's a, a dominant post player. Uh, I expect her to get a lot of touches. Um, she's been a, a dominant player in practice most of this week. Um, I'm thrilled with what she's done so far. Um, you know, she's, she's making shots uh, inside and outside. Um, her versatility is showing up. She's in great, great shape. Uh, but, you know, and, and I've been most impressed, you know, how quickly she's fit into our defensive schemes too. Um, the offense is easy to gear around her because a lot of the stuff we do offensively uh, fits her, Elena, Emma, when we, she was here, you know, Maisha, they all are kind of interchangeable in what we're trying to do offensively. So uh, I feel very good about where she's uh, at right now with us. Thank you. Tyler. Hey, Coach. Hope you're doing well. Great. Thanks. Uh, I have two quick ones. First one, your weekend to camp. How do you feel the progression of the team is compared to where you want the benchmarks to be as you guys gear up and get more into your drills and scrimmages? Um, I'm thinking that we're about where I had hoped for. I mean, our veteran players that are here have been really, really good. Uh, you know, Tina and... Uh, Ariel Atkins and Leilani and Natasha and, uh, you know, Teresa Plaisance, who's a veteran in the league. They've, they've uh, been together on the floor a lot. Shavante has done a good job merging herself with them. Um, you know, it's the young ones that are kind of on a daily evaluation. You know, it's different. I mean, without Maisha here, without Elena practicing with the group, without, you know, Kiara Leslie, who will be here uh, probably practicing by Tuesday, um, you know, Erica McCall's, uh, you know, should be ready to play by our first game. You know, it'll look a lot different, but right now we're trying to actually evaluate kind of the last couple spots on our team, but offensively, uh, we're probably farther along than I thought we would be. We picked up things pretty quickly. Um, and you know, the, I thought, I think the assistant coaches have done a really good job in their pre-practice work with players of getting them ready for the things that we're going to add each day. And so I think we're really good. It's hard to tell where we are defensively because we're only practicing against ourselves. That's why I'm really excited about playing an exhibition game on Wednesday uh, just to kind of see, <clears throat> excuse me, see how we match up at a couple positions and, you know, do a better job of evaluating the players that we have against, you know, the people we're going to face during the season. And then my second one, you, you may not have an answer for this, but, is there anything I don't, surprise might not be the right word, but is there anything that a player has brought in new to camp that maybe you didn't expect, or maybe a new element of someone's game that you maybe hope to utilize? Have you been, has there been anything like that this first week? Yeah, I think there's been a few things. I think, uh, you know, it's, it's more kind of, we ask players to try to work on something and they've come back doing it. Uh, Tina has, you know, spent a lot of time on, you know, getting her balance and changing her outside shot a little bit. Um, you know, her shooting percentages from the perimeter were down a little bit her last year and two in New York. And she's made that a conscious effort this off season to get better in that regard. Uh, she's changed her shot a little bit. Uh, that's been good. We asked Shug Sutton to work on some specific things uh, offensively, uh, shooting the ball, and she's done a good job with that. <coughs> um, I would say, you know, 
Tosh and Ariel and Leilani. I mean, we know who they are. Um, right now, it's just kind of playing themselves into game shape. I mean, I think we'll know more about how those things have happened as we get closer to the regular season and, and can play longer stretches of time. I mean, right now, we don't have a lot of subs uh, in camp when you're scrimmaging. So um, the, the amount of full court up and down we've done, uh, we've tried to build progressively uh, and gradually. So I, I don't have a feel for where that is, but I would say, you know, people have come in uh, reasonable shape um, and people have clearly worked on parts of their game that we've asked them to. Thank you, coach. Christy. Hey there, coach. Um, what have you liked? specifically about the offense and how that has looked better than you thought? Um, that there's actually a flow to it, you know, when we've thrown some things. I and mean, when we have a lot of new players, I mean, it's, yeah. you know, for Tosh and Ariel and Leilani and people like that, it's pretty simple. But we have a lot of new people and how quickly they have picked up things and remembered what we want done. Um, mm. You know, the basics of our offense have been pretty good. Uh, you know, we've had uh, one week of practice, but in that week we've had a day off and we've had, you know, some shorter practices. So getting stuff in, uh, I didn't know where we would be at the end of the first week. And I would say that specifically that we've been able to pick up offense and retain it. Uh, that's been good. I think our defensive coverages, uh, we have some things that are a little bit unique to our team that we've done and, Today, you could see in practice some of the lights light go on for a couple of players about, oh, OK, now I understand why you do this against a certain player or what the rotation is. Uh, but we still have a long way to go on that. Uh, we need to get better with our rebounding. Um, you know, part of that right now is just probably uh, conditioning as much as anything. Just one quick follow up uh, with Ariel Atkins how she utilized her voice last year as a leader. And now with Tosh back in and, you know, other players back in the gym with you, have you seen her maintain that level of leadership for you? Yeah. I mean, you know, even last year, you know, her voice, I mean, she's not going to be the same, you know, loud rah-rah person in the sense that, that Tosh is. And, you know, she defers a little bit to Tosh in that regard. Um, I probably will need to remind her occasionally to, you know, not lose that part of what she did last yeah. summer. But I haven't really been concerned about it at this point. I mean, the good part for our team is that we have a lot of good veterans that, that speak up. Um, you know, Leilani uh, has respect in our locker room. Uh, Elena has been on the sideline when she's finished her workouts uh, talking with players. Tina is vocal. So I think, you know, for me, it's always been a group thing anyway. So I don't, I don't, I think we have to rely on any one person to, to maintain that. I think the growth we saw in Ariel uh, will continue, um, but it's not as necessary for her to, to do it as much as she did maybe a year ago. Thank you. Jen, again. Coach, you mentioned Shug a couple times uh, today. And, you know, when you when you first drafted her, you mentioned how difficult it was to find a good uh, WNBA caliber point guard. Is it fair to say you're feeling pretty good about that position between Tosh and Leilani and Shug and Ace and, and even Clara Lundquist, who you just signed? Well, you know, Clara Lundquist is not part of the equation. So uh, let's she's probably not going to be here this year. Um, We'll, we'll know more this week. We signed her for the future. So, you know, that's not any part of the discussion. Um, yeah, I am comfortable right now. Um, you know, we'll see, you know, you know, what other teams do. But, you know, obviously uh, Natasha and Leilani are going to handle the, the majority of it. But Suge has grown. Her shooting has improved. Her understanding of what we've done uh, has improved. And so I think that's a lot of security. And, and the other X factor for us that we talk about is when Maisha comes, we have a post player who is, you know, got ball handling skills. And we utilized her down in the bubble last year uh, to facilitate the offense a fair amount of the time. So that's another luxury that we'll have when she gets here. Thanks, coach. Anybody else? No, I think we're good. All right. Great. Thanks. Christy. 
You unmute, Christopher. Gotcha. There you go. I got you. Yep, my nails are too long. Anyway, um, hi, hey Ariel. Hey. With you all just being a week in right now, how have you seen training camp evolve in terms of the overall chemistry with so many new pieces out there? Yeah, um, we've been able to get up and down a little bit these past couple of days, um, but kind of you answered your own question. Like we're just figuring it out each other, um, mm -hmm. and as far as chemistry goes. I think a lot of that comes with just us communicating and figuring out, you know, what each other likes, what each other doesn't like, um, knowing who likes to shoot in what spots, what spots Tina likes on the floor, what spots T likes on the floor, um, and then getting back in rhythm with Tasha as well because we didn't play with her last year, um, being able to play at her pace. Tasha likes to push the ball. Um, so mm -hmm. it's definitely been fun and interesting. But a lot, a lot of it is making sure that we over-communicate so that, we know where each other is on the floor, but we're also telling each other what we like and what we don't like. And just a real quick follow-up. Coach said that he felt that the team was further along offensively than he thought you would be at this juncture. What have you seen in terms of that fact for him? Um, our ability to retain information, honestly, um, and not even just about what coach is asking us to do, but again, what our teammates like to do. Uh, we're very, I won't say very aware, again, where we can, um, but we're more aware um, than we kind of have been, well, than last year of where to place people in certain positions in our plays and in our sets. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Jen? Hey, Ariel, uh, just kind of building off of Christy's question, how does Tosh look to you? Um, you know, I know you guys are still you know, playing with each other again, but how does she look? Um, does she look pretty similar to her 2019 self? Has she added anything new? That sort of thing. Yep. Fast as ever. Um, she looks good to me. She looks in shape. She looks like she hasn't missed a beat, to be honest with you. Um, and that shot is looking real good to me. Um, but that's something that she added to her game. I la um, our championship season too. So um, yeah, Tosh looks great. And then uh, you guys have a, an exhibition game coming up this week. Mm -hmm. um, I know you still have a couple days before that, but are you guys feeling ready for that? Anxious to compete against somebody else? How, how are you guys feeling? Uh, definitely excited to get going. Um, it's been a lot of hype around the season, it being the 25th season for the W, um, new uniforms, you know, all this stuff going on. So we're definitely excited to get some different type of blood um, and just see what we're really made of, you know, see what the fire is going to do to us. Thanks. Wilson? Hey, Ariel, Ariel, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, looking, I know you just mentioned a little bit, talking about the upcoming exhibition game. Yeah. Outside of the result, what's one of the things you're, you hope to get more, uh, you hope to learn uh, coming out of that game? Uh, what my teammates really like when it comes to certain um, situations within the game. I think that's what exhibition is for, to see pretty much what you're really like. Because, you know, you can look, like one way in practice against certain people. Um, but when it comes down to the real fire, it can look a little different. So I'm excited to see how we communicate when things get a little frustrating and things possibly aren't going our way with not just our play on the court, but with refs, um, other teams and different things like that. Raymond? Hey, Ariel, how's it going? Uh, I'm good. Um, just want to ask, like, you know, with the bubble last season with um, people sitting out for uh, for medical reasons and for, um, you know, for other reasons as well, and then still having to deal with uh, all the injuries, just how does it feel when you go into practice and you, and you just see, you know, you got the, the bands back together? Like, does that, are you getting excited or um, yeah. you know, is that, does that give you just like a little extra oomph to get into the season? Oh, for sure. Like our gym our arena is home to me. Um, so it feels really good to be able to walk into our facility and honestly just have a place to call home for one. Um, and then for our whole squad to be able to be together right now. Uh, we're missing a few pieces right now, but they'll be trickling in little by little. Um, so it definitely feels really good to just be able to not only have our team back, to, but to be in our home together again. And uh, just a quick follow up, you know, with the um, with the roster shortages last season, mm -hmm. it kind of put you into a place where you had to uh, kind of be elevated into a, a leader role. How do you think that helped you with your game and what what is that going to do for you going into this year? Yeah, definitely forced me to grow up. 
Um, but it is what it is. I actually am super thankful for the situation. Um, it made me realize some things about myself, uh, but it also forced me to get better in a lot of areas of my game. And I think that's something that I'll be able to bring to our team and elevate us and make us better. Thank you. Christy, you had another question? Yes, uh, just real quickly, with Tina Charles being on the floor and you know she has done everything but win a championship, what does that hunger feel like to be her teammate? What does that hunger of Tina Charles feel like to be around her and, and try to get that for her this year? Um, obviously, she's passionate about the game. That's one thing. Come practice, it's like a game to her, um, or at least that's what it feels like for me so far. Um, and I love that. I appreciate people who not only take the game serious, but have true respect for the game. Um, and then with her not winning a championship, I mean, I feel like that's one of the reasons she came here. I think that she believes in this team. She believes in this staff and this organization um, that we have the ability to not only compete for a championship, but actually win a title. And so, I mean, I'm excited that she chose Washington for the place for her to be. Um, that shows not only her respect, but her belief in our program. And we believe in her too. I'm excited to get it going. And she's purposeful beyond hoops and that kind of person being on the court. How does that empower you? She's a vet in the league. How does that empower you off the court to be around someone like that as well? I mean, you said it. She's done everything she can think of on the court. Um, and then off the court, she's also really well-rounded, you know, just as a human being. And it definitely motivates me. Um, I'm so thankful to be able to walk into this gym and to be amongst like so many wonderful black women on a daily. And it's not by accident, you know, I think that God places us in people's um, lives for a reason. And so I'm really glad that we've been able to cross paths and I look forward to really getting to know her um, as this season goes along. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ariel. Good. One question for Shavante. Christy. Hey, Shavante. Uh, just with uh, how training camp has progressed, obviously without practice players, what has been the true challenge of trying to implement the offense and the defensive rotations without really having a lot of subs in place to, to do that? Oh, man, I think whew, you're right. It has been challenging and tough, but I think for the most part, our coach has done a really good job at um, – putting time, different times on the clock where we can actually have time where we can rest and our substitutions where we can sub each other um, to give each other a rest because we don't have practice players right now. So I think the challenge right now is still trying to stay healthy, um, getting our bodies, you know, conditioned a little bit to go up and down, especially with us having a game coming up soon. Um, mm -hmm. It's been the key for us. And a quick tag to that with the games coming up, the preseason contest with uh, Atlanta and Minnesota, they played against each other. Were you able to look at that game and, and see any kind of intricacies that you want to exploit? Actually, you know, I was trying oh, to... <laughs> I was trying to find a game yesterday, but um, unfortunately, I don't think they were showing them. But we looked oh, you can't at get that. It. Can you hear me? I can. Hello? Christy, you're going in and out. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, buddies. I was just saying about the, the Atlanta-Minnesota game, and if you were able to, even if you weren't able to see it uh, just by stats, like what you guys are going to look to exploit in those two games against those two teams. Um, I think with both of those teams, we know how physical, you know, Atlanta and Minnesota um, are. So I think for us is, you know, stay patient. Don't try to, you know, go up-tempo and try to keep up with both teams. We know Atlanta – um, just from previous years is an up and running team, like to get the ball um, off steals and get it up and go. Same with Minnesota, aggressive defensive team. So for us, I think the big key is um, limiting our turnovers and playing to our style and not to their style. Jen. Hey, Shavante. Uh, Jen Hadfield with the next. So I, I missed your appearance on Media Day, but great to meet you and welcome to DC. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, I just had two questions for you. First, 
I know you've played with Tina before, um, and it feels like people outside of DC aren't really talking that much about her, but it sounds like she's doing great in camp from everything I've heard. Are people sleeping on Tina? What, what do you think she's going to be like this year? <laughs> I think if anybody is sleeping on Tina, they, they're a fool. Um, you know, Tina, dominant post, um, just playing with her for four years. It, it just amazes me at the things that she's capable of doing. And now, you know, Tina has added a lot of things to her game. Um, of course, we know she's a back-to-the-back killer in the paint. Um, she could shoot the three, but now she got a little bit of handles with her. So anybody sleeping on Tina, beware, because she has looked great in camp. Um, Tina is the same Tina. She just added a lot of – she just added more things to her game. So she's more polished now, and it's great to see her and great to play with her again. Awesome. And then of the players that you hadn't played with before this week, um, is there any one of them that's really um, either you developed really good chemistry with already or has just stood out to you like, wow, she's really good. And I didn't I didn't realize, you know, how good she was or that she could do. A For me, um, honestly, I think everybody that's here who I haven't played with has you know, been tremendous. I think everybody has something different to their game that, you know, can correlate to what we do here in Washington, although this is my first year as well. But I think um, for me, just building a little bit of chemistry with Tosh and Ariel has been tremendous for me. Um, playing against them, it was always tough, especially Tosh going downhill and, you know, Ariel with the way she can shoot and get to the basket as well. So, I think, you know, when coach mixes up our teams and I'm able to play with, you know, Tosh, Area, and even Leilani Mitchell, it's just a joy because you can see all of the things that they're good at and what made them, you know, so good and what is great for them here in D.C. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Thank you, Shavante. Thank you.